This looks like goodbye. <laughs> game, I would like to say I appreciate you desperately treating me like a moron, but I really don't. I can figure out how to fight the bosses, I'm a big boy. We're using Kavitas right now, which is a particularly fun weapon for this boss fight due to its homing nature. We want to keep the silhouettes out of Gargantuan's hand and keep the mirages in its hand, because when it consumes the mirages, it will hurt itself. After it consumes the mirages though, it will cease to be a silhouette type and instead change to a mirage type, so we'll have to do the reverse. It's a very simple boss with a very simple gimmick, and again, I feel like it's something they should really have let the player figure out for themselves. I understand that this is a bit of an odd game concept for a shooter, especially when it came out, but that doesn't mean you need to straight up tell the player what to do. Anyway, in spite of this boss fight having a cute gimmick, I do think it goes on for a bit too long. You really just do the same thing three times, but you switch which attribute you're shooting. And I can't blame this one on Working Design's terrible design decisions, because this boss fight probably took exactly as long and was exactly as... dull to play in the original Japanese release. But again, it's a cute idea. But don't you worry, there will be plenty of time to blame Working Design's terrible design decisions later. Plenty of time for that, because a lot of these in-game bosses were utterly fucked up by their complete ignorance. So there are two potential outcomes to this fight, and which outcome we get will change how the story follows. We can either defeat Zohar or simply wait until the timer runs out. We're going to try to defeat Zohar. Now normally, if one wished to do this, they would be smart and not be using Kavitas at all. They would instead be using Sarosa, because Sarosa is far more effective. As for the fight itself, Zohar just has more moves that do basically the same thing, but stronger. I do like the idea of Zohar as a rival in this game, because the idea of a boss that continuously expands its moveset is kind of fun. Especially when the moveset is a natural extension of the abilities already present. That doesn't really stop Zohar from being easy to fight, assuming you're using Sarosa and not Kavitas, as I am currently doing. The satellites that Zohar Sandalfon shoots out have a few unique characteristics. They can reflect our own shots with a normal attribute, or they can hover around firing mirage shots of their own. Interestingly, the st satellites stay even when Zohar Metaton is on the screen, meaning you have to contend with both silhouette and mirage attributes at once at some points in the fight. If it seems like we're not going to be able to defeat Zohar before the timer runs out, 
We just to barely manage it. Just to barely. It would have been done far before now if we would just use Sarosa. But now you can see for yourself exactly how hopeless and inferior the other weapons are. They're just absolute nonsense in comparison to Sarosa, which is basically just a machine gun. And if we had started this fight with Sarosa, it would not be nearly the close call that it is here. I believe we only win with zero seconds on the clock, just as the timer turns to zero. Welcome to the boss fight against Cypher Za Zohar, also known as How to Waste a Really Cool Visual Design and Some Beautiful Voice Acting Because You Fucked Up the Spirit Absorption Mechanics with Your Shitty Translation. What is intended as a really fun Twitch-based boss battle, where you're meant to rapidly switch attributes to avoid getting hit by Cypher Za Zohar's incredibly unpredictable and fast attacks, instead becomes a slog because of how working designs messed up the spirit absorption mechanics. You have to meticulously and painfully take this fight as slowly as possible, and it just stops being fun after around the 10 minute mark. Now to be perfectly fair, the thing I am doing right here repeatedly using the Parasite Bomb is an awful idea. It's much better to keep your spirit energy full as long as possible and fire with the full powerful Sarosa instead. But either way, the boss fight takes far too long, and it's a prime example of working designs fucking something up that they didn't understand. And again, it's a shame, because Zypher Za Zohar has some great visual design, the music is outstanding, and the voice acting is some of the most beautiful working designs has ever produced. What's here is barely recognizable as the original Silhouette Mirage. 
Alright, now that you've heard that line, it's time to skip to the end of the fight, because it really is just this. Until I win. And if you mess up in this fight, it's just because you were impatient. Because even though Cypher Zohar's attacks are clearly meant to be unpredictable and crazy, when you can just spend an infinite amount of time as one attribute, slowly plinking away, as you have to do in this version of the game, it just becomes boring. And it's rather depressing to me personally. So let's not do this anymore. <laughs>